Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at 1CNC Mill Express. Now, 1CNC Mill Express is very easy to use. It's a very powerful CAD CAM system. It's also a very cost-effective solution for both CNC mills and router applications. Now, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at using 1CNC Mill Express for routers. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just create some geometry. You can import geometry if you want to, but in this case, I'm just going to start with creating some lines. I'm just typing in the coordinates that change, different X and Y values, and then clicking OK. That looks good. Let's create a circle and place it in that upper right-hand corner, and then we're going to just use Trim. The flow with creating geometry is very fast. It's very easy to do. I'm going to create some fillets here. Let's change the fillet. 2.375 for the radius. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, quickly create some 3 8 circles or holes right at the arc centers there. Very easy to do. Another thing you can do with 1CNC Mill Express is you can create dimensions. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Here I'm creating dimensions on a separate layer and that way I can turn those dimensions off. A couple of vertical dimensions. That looks good. How about we create a radial dimension and a diametrical dimension? That looks very good. So yes, very powerful, easy. If you want to create dimensions, you can. And by placing them on a separate layer, you can turn that layer off if you want to. And that's what I've just done right there. That looks good. Now I tell you what, let's do this. Why don't we perform a profile operation? So we're going to select the shape and the direction that we want to cut it. And then here we're going to select our router. We're going to say it's 375 diameter. Give it a turret position and RPM and a feed rate. And then a depth of cut. Let's cut this at minus 375. So I'll click next on that. That looks good. All this stuff looks great. I'm just going to use the defaults on this. I am going to arc in and arc off the profile. But you don't have to do that. There's several ways to approach and exit the geometry. You could just plunge in and come straight out if you wanted to with the router bit. That looks good. Why don't we simulate this? So what I'm going to do is quickly create some stock. I'm just going to drag out a rectangle here. And that's going to be our stock shape. And then we're going to head over to the right within the NC Manager and I'm going to select Simulate. And I'm just going to make the stock how about 250 thousandths deep. I'm going to select that rectangle and there you go. There's a, a quick simulation. There's a lot more to show here but I'm trying to go as fast as I can to get this video under four minutes. What we're going to do now is uh, perform some drilling. Of course, you can use a router and profile it if you want to, but if your router has the ability to drill, you can use a drill operation. I'm going to say this is in position number two, give it an RPM, a feed rate, and let's give it a, a diameter again of 375, and the depth, I'm going to go 400 thousandths on that. You can support can cycles. I'll just use a G81, and there we go. There's the drilling operation. Why don't we simulate this real quick again, going to grab that same rectangle. That way you can see the router machining the outside and the drill drilling the three holes there. Very good. Now let's do this. Let's create a setup sheet. So to do that, just right click, go to post group. And if you select job sheet, that's going to create a PDF file. Now let's view this PDF file so you can see it. All the important information like cycle time, the amount of tools used are at the top. And really very nice. There's also a, a sketch there of where the datum is and then also the machining operations are divided up with all the pertinent information like cycle time and so on. I'm going to create a CNC program here. One CNC ships with over 100 post processors. If we need to create post processors for you we can. There's never a charge for that. And of course you have the ability to upload and download the CNC program using the included RS-232 software. Okay, that's it. I tried to keep this under four minutes for you. It's a real cost-effective CAD CAM solution for router applications. Very easy to use. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, contact us, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.